Welcome back to our Two Minute Tuesdays with Trish and Pastor Dave. Hey. <laughs> two minute, two, two, two. I know you make fun of me because of my hate, but I really don't know what else to do. I, we, hey. we, yeah, I know. Well, we were just talking. We've done this about 120 times now, and after yeah. about time 50, you just run out of clever <laughs> intros. Fair enough. That's why we stick with what we know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, today's question. We hear so much about climate change, and a lot of things make me think that the end of the world might be coming sooner than we think. I know you don't know when, but if it was, what should we do to prepare ourselves spiritually? Okay, grammar. That's from Anson. Okay, got it, Anson. I, I got to just, okay. So we don't know when the end of the world is coming, but no what do we do else. to prepare? Okay, got it. So here's the thing is that preparation implies control, at least I think the way you're thinking about it, and nothing that we do is probably going to alter the force of, of cosmic destiny or whatever. So uh, it would be lying if I'd say, well, do this and this will happen or do that and that'll happen, just not. So here's what you do. And here's what you do in all situations where you don't have any control. Ask yourself what you're doing right now over the things you have control over. Are you uh, loving and being compassionate? Are you viewing the world with beauty and grace and sharing the same with the world? If you take care of the moment right now, then the moments that follow either tend to be better or you're able to deal with them better. If you miss the moment right now because you're looking ahead trying to control something that you don't control, then not only don't you control the future, you've blown the present as well. Oh yeah. Being a parent will teach you this, actually, that if you try to parent your child for who you think they're gonna be when they're 40, that usually doesn't work. You've gotta deal with your child where they are right now, make that moment good, and then when they get to 40, they will be one wonderful, well-rounded, great people. The same thing applies to all of us. Mm -hmm. So stop future tripping. <laughs> future tripping, yeah. And start, you know, present given, that kind of thing. There you go. It sounds like a song, like a, a Beatles song stop or a 60s song. Stop future tripping, start present given. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. All right. If you have your this own... is why you do this and you're not a musician. This is guy. why I should not. That's why I should not sing and make it's too much. It's too much trip. All right. If you have your own questions, we have a, uh, a forum at lightofthespirit.church. We do. And an email. Uh, pastor at sov-id.org. <laughs> Twitter. Every time I have Every to think about it. Every time. 120 <laughs> times. At Dave, my Can't email address is hard. <laughs> at Dave Deckard. <laughs> at Dave Deckard. That you just answered Two Minute Tuesday. Dave, what's your email address? <laughs> uh, two minutes later. <laughs> two minutes later. Uh, <laughs> all right. We will see you next week for our next video.